Hey guys, got the Christensen arms out here this morning. Going to shoot a couple more of the uh, the IBS targets. I've already put two of them uh, down range. And I'm probably going to shoot them today with the, uh, the CCI Blazer 40 grain lead. And I'm probably going to try it with the CCI and the milk carton. These are 38 grain. And uh, here's just some of the ammo. I don't have enough Ely. I wish I had 25, but I shot the, the SK last time. And then I got the Fiocchi, the Stingers, the Subsonic, the Mini Mags, the Winchester, and the Norma. But right here, this is the ammo that I'll be shooting here in just a minute. I'm going to go ahead and put 15 or 20 rounds through the barrel, try to foul it up a little bit. But we'll see what happens. Okay, here's those shots uh, I shot to make sure. Just to try to file it up a little bit. Uh, that was the first one. That was the first one, and they were just kind of not too bad. And the second one was a little bit more inconsistent. And then the uh, third five, I believe that's what I want right there. But I clicked it one spot to the right just to get it to zero. So I'm going to shoot five more probably. Just to make sure but yeah that's that's definitely what i want right there but i'm gonna shoot five more and then i might shoot 10 more and then i'm gonna start these targets right here okay here we go uh first ibs target shooting the blazer uh lead nose 40 grain i'm gonna shoot five rounds i got 30 rounds right here i'm gonna shoot five and one of the top four targets just to make sure, or try to get it as close to zero as I can. All right, let's go. I have to take this one out first. Makes it a little easier to go in. All right. Top right. go down one click and it looks like it's uh, maybe left a little bit so I'm gonna go to the right one click okay I'm gonna hold here here we go I'm gonna start on number one I'm gonna go right right to left and left to right all right left a little bit. There we go. I think I can. There we go. I think it's zero right now. That should be all this mag. Yep. All right, row number two. 
And we'll start to the right, right under that last one. This is hard. Five more. There we go. We get shooting now. See if I can keep it up. Heck yeah. I get a perfect row. I've never done that before. Ooh, maybe. Awesome. Okay, I got ten more. There we go. back around. Oh, 
All right, not too bad. Probably gonna shoot one more, and then I will count the score up, see how I did. All right. I'm gonna try the uh, blazer. I got 30 rounds. I'm gonna shoot five on the practice target. These are 38 grain. And these usually shoot pretty good, but uh, the last five I just shot off of camera. They didn't shoot as good as the other ones, but anyway, I'm pretty much gonna leave the, uh, the elevation and windage to the same and uh, to see what happens when I shoot the uh, target on the top right. All right, top right. Where did that go? That went way right. A little bit better. There right, we go. That's the way it's supposed to shoot. All right, we'll go with it. This stuff looks like it's shooting a little more inconsistent than the uh, 40 gain, 40 grain CCI, but uh, we'll start on target number one, go right to left, and then left to right. not bad. I can't complain about that. It must be getting better the more I shoot it. Let's see if it continues. Second row. That ain't nice. That was right down the pipe. Yeah, this stuff's definitely getting better the more I shoot it. I shouldn't have said nothing, should I? There it goes.
A little bit higher. There we go. Right where I was aiming. All right, last five. See if I can get five in a row. That's the worst one yet, hitting the green. Dang, I don't know what's going on those last two. Man, that was awful. Minus those last three shots, I thought it was pretty good. For a 200 rounds bulk. I'm going to add the scores up, see how I did. Okay, I got these targets. Uh, got the CCI 38 grain target and the CCI 40 grain target. On the 38 grain, I shot a 218 with uh, two X's. Seven, 10, 10, eight, 10. And that was a 45. And I shot a 47, a 10, 10, seven, 10 X, 10 X. A two right there. Huh, that's the only two X's I had were two in a row right there. But anyway, third row is a 45. I got a 10, 10, 6, 9, 10. And then the fourth row is a 9, which I shot a 48. 9, 10, 10, 10, 9. This row killed me right here, 33. I had a 7, a 10, then I had a 5, a 4, and then a 7 for 33. So, 218 with two X's. That's the 38 grain blazer. And here's the, my best target yet. I had a 47. I had an 8, 9, 10, 10 X, 10. Then another 48 with a 10, 9, 9, 10, 10. Then here's my perfect row. I've never had a perfect row, but I got a... 10, X, 10, 10, 10, 10. That's how you do it. I've never done that before, but I didn't give myself an X. That's close, but it's not, I don't think it's touching. 
But anyway, uh, 46 on this row. Got a 7, 10, 10X, 9, 10. And then a 42 with a 10, 7, 6. That was my worst. 10X and then a 9. But right there, that's my high score so far. 233 out of 250. So I might shoot... Uh, might shoot a few more groups, and if I get a really good one, I might shoot another IBS target, but we'll have to wait and see. All right. I shot some pretty good groups with this, so I'm going to do an IBS target with the uh, the Norm Attack 22. But see how this does. I'm going to do the same way. I'm going to shoot five shots on the far top right circle. And see if I can do better than the, uh, the CCI Blazer. So I'm hoping this shoots pretty close right now. I halfway zeroed it, but we'll see. Yeah. I think I pulled that one a little bit. If I can keep doing that, that'd be awesome. One more. All right, I think I got three through the middle. All right, I'm going to go ahead and start on number one. I get my bias fixed, right? <laughs> oh, not too bad. All right, second magazine. See if I get a perfect row again like I did last time. Not this one. All right, see if that helps a little bit. I don't know, shot it then. Still shooting low.
There we go. All right, last 10. I'm trying to think, I want it. Still shooting down a little bit. I'm gonna go up one more. This stuff shoots lower. I think it's going slower. 1,100 feet per second. So that's, that's pretty much standard velocity, I think. Both touching it. I'm gonna get three more. Ah, maybe. Ah, that's definitely not touching it. That's touching it. Dang, what happened on that one? Good gracious, there's always one of those. And two of them. Something about that bottom row. Those last two killed me though, score wise. All right, last one, see if I can get an X. There we go. All right, I'm curious to see how that uh, this stuff stacks up with the CCI. But I'll add the score up and let you guys know what it is. All right, here's the Norma Type 22 target. I got a 223 with 1X. It wasn't as good as the, uh, the CCI 40 grain with 233, but it was better than the 38 grain CCI. But anyway, uh, first row, 9, 9, 10, 10, 9. Then 7, 8, 10, 8, 8, 8, 9, 10X. That's the one 10X I got. 10, 8. Here's a good row right here. 10, 10, 10, then 9, 10 for a... Uh, 49 out of 50. Okay, 10, 9, 10, 6, 6. Those two sixes hurt me. But anyway, that's the uh, Norm Attack 22. Okay, I just want to shoot a couple groups with the uh, the SK Long Range Match and the Ely 10X. These seem to shoot about the same on my uh, my Vortex, my scope. Uh, seems like these these uh, are going slower so the first two Ely I shot were down here and then I cranked it up to two where it should be and look at those three that is tight and then I left it alone I didn't do anything and I shot the SK right there look at that all big one hole but I got that one right there but man I would love to be able to shoot this stuff all the time 
But yeah, that for the Ely. And there's your SK long range, match, long range match, but I'm probably going to look for some of this. I think Optic Planet, Optics Planet is starting to have uh, some stuff show up. I noticed they had some uh, CCI standard velocity. I hadn't shot those yet, but they're asking like $23 for them. But anyway, I might shoot a couple more, but that's probably all the video I'm, video and I'm going to do. Y'all take it easy. Okay, I just wanted to shoot a couple more of these. Uh, I hadn't shot these a whole lot. I wanted to go head to head with the uh, Winchester 40 grain, 1280 feet per second. These are the small game, PowerPoint copper plated. And I wanted to go against this bulk, 250 rounds of the Aguila 40 grain. I think this is a, I don't know if this is, I can't remember if this is hollow point or not. Now these are a uh, round tip, but anyway, I went head to head. I shot two five round groups with each one of them. I shot the, uh, the Winchester 40 grain on the top and I shot the Aguila on the bottom. But I mean, they don't shoot bad. I mean that, uh, they shoot pretty good. Everything shoots pretty good out of the Christians in arms, but you just don't definitely don't have the consistency that you do when you shoot the blazer or of course the ely or sk and that norm attack 22 i mean you just saw me shoot an ibs target but uh it's not bad i mean i'll show you guys real quick here's the winchester on the top five shots and these these are inch squares so that one was down there, but that was the first one. And there's the second one. That's not bad. It's within about an inch. Then I came down here and shot the 40 grain and those are a little bit more spread out. I did get the bullseye a couple times. And then right here, just real inconsistent. I mean, that's uh, two inches right there. So anyway, that's what you're gonna get out of the Aguila. And the like the Winchester Wildcat, which I've actually uh, shot some of the Aguila that comes in the 50 round box. And I've got some really good groups out of it. It shoots a whole lot more consistent than those bulk boxes do. But uh, might try a couple more different types of ammo, see how they do. Okay, right here, I just wanted to show you uh, the ones that are individual. The 40 grain, these are a copper round nose. Those shoot a lot more consistent. Well, a little bit more consistent than the bulk box does. But when you get over here and shoot this, this is the 38 grain hollow point, man. This stuff right here, check this out. That's four shots right there. And I don't know what happened down there, but I thought I was gonna have all of them in the same hole but that's just the stuff right here is so much more accurate than the 40 grain for some reason but uh they must be drinking too many coronas down there in mexico because it, it has to be quality control these are probably going different it says 1280 feet per second but which actually these like i said these shoot a whole lot better than the 40 grain let me see if I can find it. That's the 38 grain and there's the 40 grain. See, and there's the 40 grain bulk. There's the 40 grain in the individual box. So anyway, just kind of interesting. All right, I've showed you guys this before. This arms core, this is 36 grain copper hollow point. Man, this stuff for cheap ammo, look at that. Man, that is, if it wasn't for that one, that is almost perfect. But I was thinking that I probably might shoot this on IBS target, but then this was the second group, which is still within an inch probably. But uh, compared to that Aguila and that uh, Winchester Wildcat, I mean, that stuff is a lot more consistent. But uh, I put up one more target. I'm probably going to see if I can get some... Uh, 
see how good the groups on the CCI does. I might try the mini mags and then try the 38 grain and the 40 grain. And then I'm about done. Okay, I just wanted to finish the day out with some uh, groups on CCI. I shot two five round groups with the uh, 40 grain blazer. I shot two five round groups with the uh, mini mags. These things just scream quality, man. These things run good through every gun I've ever shot them. They definitely, they just, they just make these right. And then I shot two groups of five with the uh, subsonic 40 grain, 1050 feet per second. And these shoot really good out of the Christian arms too. But I shot the mini mags, the subsonic, and the blazer. I shot a, let's see, two groups of five with each. That's probably it for me. I'm headed home after this. Probably take me about an hour to edit those uh, videos using the tripod. I'm trying to get a little bit better doing that, but uh, it was tough at first, especially when you uh, when I forget to clap or something, then I have to just delete it. It messes the whole thing up. I've tried to sync it up, but I mean, it's just, it's a pain in the butt. It's easier just to go ahead and delete it and start over. All right, I shot the Blazer. Let's see. Okay, these are the Blazer right here. That's a really tight group except for that one. That one, I don't know where that came from. That's the first one. Here's the second one with the Blazer. But these are just definitely better quality than those other ammo. Now check this out. There's the Mini Mags. That's five shots. That's four right there then one right there. There's another five shots with the mini mags. Those things are very good out of that rifle. Okay, here's the subsonic. Had three good ones right there, but it's still within an inch. Here's the other subsonic. Four, and then one right there. So all in the bullseye right there. So there's the three CCIs. Anyway, I'm done. Y'all take care.